Hello everyone and welcome to this video on concrete failure using Abacus CAE and funny part is the red ball. The background of this video is some of you ask about concrete damage or failure model or possibility of modeling concrete failure in Abacus CAE while my kids on the other hand normally play red ball game and they normally ask that why this red ball which bounces on the floor doesn't break but when it bounces on a monster or some specific things, it just breaks or fail. Can you do that? When Because they see me working on this FEA all the time. So they, they, they just challenge me with that. So I so the idea came, let's use this kid's question and, and the question from concrete failure side and make a video on that. So I hope you will make find it amusing and funny as well as useful for concrete failure. So we have a red ball. Again, if you are familiar, not familiar with the red ball game, then I would suggest to download on your mobile or computer, whatever you want. So this is a red ball with some eyes and everything. And I assume this red ball to be of concrete. And then I have a floor. Again, I, want, I am assuming it to be steel or whatever you can assume in this case. I mash it, as you see here. And then in one case, I use keep everything elastic and I let it fall under gravity. So this concrete thing falls on the steel floor or something similar and it obviously strikes and then you have elastic collision and then rebounds back so it's like a bouncing of this ball while in the second case i have a concrete damage model again all the parameters are fictitious i have i have changed the values from the real case okay from a specific concrete example which we are we are working on and then you see a failure and you can see how it's crushed and i delete the elements in reality if you can have particles remaining in the somewhere there then it might not be a good idea to delete the elements as they recommend so again as an analyst it's your instincts and decision if you want to keep them or delete the elements i in this case i deleted it to show my kids that okay this is how it's it, things break all right and what i'm going to what i want to achieve in this case so what i want to achieve in this case is for the case of elastic case it will with no failure you will see something like this and for the case with failure you will see it just fails and crushes into the floor as something is as normally happens when something breaks down so in the first case you see it bounces back because there is no failure and you see waves are traveling due to the impact while in the second case it is crushing and it crushes up to a certain value and then i stop the simulation all right, so that's what we want to do. So let's go jump into the technical details in, in Abacus, how we can do it in Abacus. I will show you quickly how I did it. All right, so let's have a look in Abacus now. So this is the geometry I have created. I'm not gonna show you how I did it. I created a sphere and then I use this different options of deleting or creating slots. So in this case, I created eye and, and kind of a mouth based on different types sketches again you can look at my other videos where i have done this kind of activities for a different structure so this is my red ball in this case it's not red but i made it red in different cases you can do that by changing the colors from this option here okay and you can play around with this and make it red or whatever so it will look something different all right so again you can play with that so then the thing was the properties which is more important in this case so i use concrete type property so again you see stale with no fail i'm defining the elastic and modulus and mass and density and the Poisson's ratio for steel. For concrete type material, I am defining the material properties as density of similar to concrete, elastic constants of concrete, and then for I'm using a brittle cracking function where I have to define a direct stress after cracking as a function of direct cracking strain coming from experiments. I am also defining the brittle shear failure coming from experiments. Again, all the data is from literature and brittle failure value for which requires a direct cracking failure strain or displacement all right so this way i have completed the cracking behavior you might not need all of these two failures but if you want to keep it you can keep it okay so that's material definition then i as i normally do i create the sections for each of the materials and then i assign them to each of the components so this was my ball and this is my floor okay which looks something like this all right, so then once I have assigned the sections and properties, I go to the assembly and I assemble them together. So I bring the, both the parts here and then, then I apply different operations of translation, 
like for example i translated it to a certain distance because if you look at this closely then you see there's a distance there so that it can drop freely on the floor and i can have some kind of impact all right and then i go to the step and i have defined that explicit dynamic step to define this you need to create the step and when you create it you will have this window in this case i'm using a total time of simulation which is based on the acceleration due to gravity and the distance i have used this time and everything else as you can see is default so i have created a time step then i go to the interaction and in this case i have used a general contact that's why i have used explicit as well in any case it's a dynamic problem so i have used interaction property and i have used general contact which will mean that it will automatically detect any contact between the two contacting surfaces it might though struggle with that kind of contact when elements are deleted because there are internal surfaces but in this case i survived but in if you keep on deforming it after what i did you might get some of the elements going through the floor as well but again you can play around with the contact algorithms and parameters to improve that for all interaction properties which i have used for the contact definition i am using a frictionless contact and a hard contact definition so this is pretty much what i have defined here i don't have any other interaction properties here then i go to the loads and i define the load in which i say that it's a gravity load so it's a gravity based load and I give a value in the y direction because this is my y direction as a value of acceleration due to gravity in millimeters per second square. And it acts instantaneously at an acceleration. Okay, how you do that, you just press create, you press this, and then you give the value and also you select the whole model or whatever. In this case, it's a whole model because gravity is applied to the whole model. All right, and then I have fixed the bottom part with all the displacements. So I select the bottom surface and then I select this and I get this. So, you know, if you are not familiar, you just press create. You say displacement boundary condition. You press this whatever surface you want. In this case, it's a bottom surface. So you can select, you can rotate and select the bottom surface. Press done and then it will ask you for the values. For, and then you press OK and this will be there. But in this case, I already have it. So I'm not going to create it again so this is my loading i go to the mashing and i individually mash it now again to mash it better i have videos which are shown on the top so you can play around with that using those techniques but in this case i'm using default match for this case i've used a match size global size of five and then i match it in default manner and same is the case for this it's a complicated geometry because of these things so what i have done is i have used you can see i have said that only match with the tetra because tetra will always survive so tetra gonna match so that's what i have done but you can again see my videos on the matching and you can see how you can partition it and match it with a better hexagonal match so this is how it, everything looks like i go to the job because i have everything there now and i apply and i let it go and do the work so so this is a failure case as you remember so let's look at that so this is the failure run it's completed so i go to the results now and this is the results and i plot this and you can see it's it's fails right so so if you, if you look closely now so it starts to go due to the gravity it falls down because this one is fixed so this floor is not moving it has some stresses due to the gravity initially but then it is fixed but in this case you see it starts to fail at the bottom and it keeps on crushing since the elements are deleting so there is no problem some elements might be protruding in the side which you can check later on by removing this but you can improve that by defining or changing contact parameters or even mesh okay so this is how it looks like where for the second case when i had no uh, failure in this case so what i did was i just basically copied so if you look at this go back to this thing now so i can copy this whole part here so this is my model 2 and in this case what i did was everything was the same only for the material definition for the material one i have no failure criteria which was brittle cracking if you remember for the previous case and then i run it with this case so it will be elastic simulation and when i run it with no fail with this name so you see this is the one and i can see the results and if i plot this so you see it's it doesn't fail at all it doesn't protrude at all and i can have a nice 
animation as you see here or it can laugh at you as well so this way i think my kids also were motivated towards engineering that oh we want to do this kind of stuff but maybe it's just because of the game but i hope this motivated you to do simulation it, it this kind this method can also be used for drop test simulation and drop test simulation or gravity based falling free falling of a body has been discussed in my course as well so have a look at that if you're interested which is shown on the top so i hope this makes sense and it's clear if you have any other question then please comment or get back to me and i will try to answer it to you thank you very much and bye and take care for now